So let me just zoom back out here, and I'm going to go back into edit mode. Okay, and one of the things that we're always challenged with, especially as uh, guitarists, when we're switching stop boxes on and off, is to really try to reduce the the fancy footwork and the tap dance that that we have to do. So we can actually do that um, in a number of different ways. Uh, if, let's say, that I want to cut down on the number of uh, foot switch presses that, that I have, let's say, for instance, I wanted to, uh, at one point in time, turn the drive on, but at that point in time, the distortion, I wanted to have the distortion off. So instead of pressing foot switch, in this case, two and then three again and two two separate I can actually program that so that I just press one foot switch and it will turn one on and one off and the way that we can do that and there's a couple of different ways of uh, doing it but let's do it the easy way um, let's go back in to the layout function and if you remember here for this first stop box we were mapped to 22. Okay. So let's say that we want to pair stop box one and stop box two together. Let me go into the second stop box, and that was CC23, but let's change that to 22. So that means that 22 will be used for both stop box one and stop box two. We'll go back into edit mode. Okay. And as we talked about a little bit before, we're going to try to configure this so that when I press one foot switch, uh, the drive will go on and the distortion will go off and vice versa. So the way that we do that is, let's just take the second foot, the second stop box, okay, and we'll click the power switch again. And if you look down here in the in the map parameter area, Let me just zoom this in so you can see it. There is a little value, or a little checkbox rather, that says in invert parameter range. So, what that simply means is it's going to flip the action. So, let's check that box. And now, what will happen is um, we'll go into perform, just double check that. And so now, when I press foot switch two, which has now been, which is uh, CC22, and CC22 is mapped to both stop box one and two, is I'm only pressing one foot switch, but yet the drive is turning off and the distortion is turning on. So you can see that back and forth there. I'm just pressing, pressing, I'm only pressing one foot switch. So that's a good way of just using one foot switch uh, instead of doing two separate taps. Now there are other really neat applications of that. You can do all kinds of different combinations for it. So let's say for instance uh, we wanted one on and three off. We could go into, let's go back into layout mode here. Okay. And I'm now going to go into, uh, let's say, the third stop box. And let me map that to 22 as well. And I'll map the last one to 22 also. So that now means that each and every one of these stomp boxes are all mapped to CC22. But if we go back into our edit mode, at this point in time, we can really take care of all kind of fancy different combinations. If we went to each and every one of those, and again use that invert parameter action. Okay, this one's already inverted. And let me take the third one, I'm going to invert parameter on the third stop box and I'll invert the parameter on the fourth one as well. So now when we go into edit mode, or rather perform, let's just test this out. Let me zoom in for you here so you can see. So right now 
as you can see the drive is on but all three of the other stomp boxes two through four are off and what I'm now doing is pressing on foot switch two I'm only doing one switch and what's happening is it will map that to toggle the drive on and then if I want drive off but the other three on I'll be able to switch to three on just with one single foot switch so again this is all done by one single switch and if you wanted to you could get into all different uh, combinations with this you know if we wanted to do something very much different and we wanted to let's say pair up I don't know two and four to act in a very very similar fashion we could go into two and four and let's change the inversion so that that is you know we'll do we'll just turn those and let me invert this okay and let's do this guy for one Okay, so let's just zoom in here a little bit and take a look at what we've been able to do there. So again, with just doing, you know, uh, just a bit of a different combination with the inversion, again with one foot switch, and in this case I'm using number two, is it's really kind of paired uh, one and three and two and four. And I can set those to any different states that, that I want. So as you can see, with one press, the distortion and the echo goes on and one press the drive and the phaser goes on and there's any number of combinations that you can use in order to do that so what I suggest you do is just be just be kind of creative with that you know be aware that that, that that function is in fact there it's a very very handy function to have and know that you can also map any of those stop boxes to really any CC that you want in order to get the right combination so Hopefully you have fun with that and have learned a bit from it. And if there's uh, any comments, I certainly welcome them. Questions as well. And if you would like any other uh, videos on any other topics within Mainstage, kind of let me know. All right. All the best.